Now, I recently got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Uh, the neurology as part of the exam had me do all these kind of funny exercises, tapping my fingers and my feet. How do you as a clinician get to the diagnosis of Parkinson? It is interesting that Parkinson's disease remains what we call a clinical diagnosis, which means that we make the diagnosis on the basis of what we see and what we hear, and not on the basis of a blood test, for example, or an imaging marker or anything like that. And what we look for characteristically is something we refer to as bradykinesia, which means slowness of movement. That's really the characteristic feature of, of Parkinson's. And so when your doctor asked you to tap your fingers, he was looking for a slowness in, in movement or a reduction in the amplitude of that movement. And that can be very subtle, but that can be enough to give us a clue that that's really what's going on. And then, of course, when you add other characteristic features like a tremor, uh, a typical tremor when the limb is at rest. Those are the two characteristic features of Parkinson's disease. Slowness of movement, a tremor, and then something referred to as muscle rigidity or stiffness. It doesn't always have to be present, but when it is, it's characteristic of, of Parkinson's. There are a lot of other symptoms. Those are the early subtle things that we look for in a patient like you. So then your doctor may have asked you to walk down the hall. What were they looking for? when well, they were looking for a subtle asymmetry in your arm movements, in your arm swing, to see whether one arm swung normally while the other was reduced. Those are early features of, of Parkinson's. And it's a clinical diagnosis, so there's no test per se that says a patient does or doesn't have Parkinson's disease.